Hi everyone, welcome back to Shalama Craft. I have a project share with you guys and I will show you guys how I make it. And it's all, all you need to make this project is a mold, a glue gun, and some glue stick. So, we are going to make some embellishment out of glue stick. And um, I use my mold that I bought. And I'll show you a few of them that I already made before we start making it. So this is my silicone mold that I bought. At, I think it was at, um, on eBay or on... Um, I think I bought this on... I'm not sure. I bought these on eBay. So what I did, I heat up my glue gun and I poured hot glue in here, in all of these, and I leave it overnight to dry and um, I come back because it's a lot of glue so I let it dry really good. So when I come back, I just pop them out and this is what they look like. Can you guys see that? That's what it looks like. You can see all the details. It's a string of glue. That's, that's the face. And we have a uh, rose. And we have a small angel. We have a small angel. And then we have this, um, I have no idea what it is, what this is, but it came out beautiful. And then I have these two. Look at those. And I am going to show you guys a different pattern, how we're going to make some embellishment out of glue. So we're not going to use this mold. We are going to use a different mold, similar, so I'll put back these in here. Be no, actually we're going to have to paint, I want to paint it so you guys can see how I paint them and what it looks like. So we're going to make, we're going to make some. First thing I want to do is put my old raggedy um, blanket, um, working table drop cloth first and um, we are going to make some and the mold we are going to use is um, this mold here I bought two of them and um, they both are different so we got this one here with the face, the flower, angel face, whatever this one calls, and these two swirly. And then we have an angel face, a uh, person with a, like a fountain on the head. And then we have these two swirly and then this border here. So we're going to do this one here. First, I, I went ahead and I did the angel last night, so this is dry. So I am going to show you guys, we're going to fill this up and it will take a lot of glue and you need some, I have a bottle of glue stick, I have a bottle of glue stick, so my glue gun is heating up, so we're going to start filling this up, can you guys see, let's move this over here, so you guys can see what I'm doing, I'm going to start filling this up. I'm filling up my mold with hot glue and what I done I fill it all the way to the top all the way to the top and um, the way when I show you guys what I do afterward so I get all that 
nice um, impression that it went down. So I go all the way to the top. And what I do, I go like that. And it's going to go down. I just move the glue wherever I want it to go. And um, that's all I do. And we are going to do the whole Um, we are going to do the whole mold so I am start filling up from the bottom and I am using a clear glue the first one was a yellow looking glue that I got from the thrift store I have no idea what's the name brand but um, this clear one my husband bought for me just, uh, two, two days ago, I believe. So yes, he bought me some blue stick, flared one. And I am filling this baby up. And we have so much snow, it's unbelievable. And we were supposed to get snow. Thursday and um, no Monday and Tuesday again next week and it's March and we have any snow can you believe it I am going to try to fill this up because the glue gun need to heat up because I have it on the high temperature because I have a low setting and a high setting on this So we got that and we'll do the same thing with it. I am going to do the same thing. So it sets, I need a little drop over there. So there we go, we got two done. We are going to get these two done. We need another glue stick. I am now we're gonna fill this up. And I am starting from the top of the the swirly and I am going to work my way down. You can hear my glue gun um When I pushed it, it makes a noise. Because that's because I am putting a lot of pressure on it so I could get the glue to fill it in there. My hand hurts from pushing it. So we are going to do here the same thing. Like that. There we go. I'll go there a little bit more. There we go. We're getting somewhere. Okay, this here need a little bit more right there. And this one over there. And I'll fill this up here. It's so easy to make your own um, embellishment. Out of glue. And um, you could, even you could go to the dollar store and buy yourself a cheap glue gun. And um, buy yourself some glue, glue stick at the dollar store. And make yourself some cheap embellishment. They're expensive if you have to buy them. That's why I don't buy too much. I just make whatever I know I make. And I use it in my project. Recycle, refurbish. I just used, you know, I have to figure it away so I don't want to get burned by those two I just finished. Okay, we're gonna fold here going. 
come back and we're filling up can you guys see me I need to adjust my camera a little bit more there we go and we're filling this one up and then we'll do some painting on those the one that I already finished and see what they look like after they paint you could paint them any color you want to put on your project. You don't have to paint them the color I am going to paint them. Because I want to put some paint on it. Not stick, glue sticks. And I am almost there to finish this one I have to fill it up a little bit more okay and you can see I got two color and I could see that I need to fill in and I need to fill in and now I am going to make sure they goes in there into the into the um all those nooks and crannies and you know so we got that and I am going to take the one out that I did um yesterday I did and um we'll see what this one looks like look at that my own my glue oh wow you can see all the little look at that I did some I did a toilet paper on here angel but look at that it has a little bit of blue because I use the blue um, iridescent paint on there but I don't mind I liked how it came out and um, like over here I have a little bit of um, that little bit tiny bit over there I just cut that piece off and I got a perfect embellishment made out of glue and glue made out of glue stick and hot glue I mean I don't know what I'm saying made out of glue stick and a glue gun and a mold that's all you need to make this project and I am going to make a lot more but I am gonna wait and um, probably see if I could purchase a different pattern of um, of the mold and I will make some different pattern pattern some different pattern so what we're gonna do I am going to I am not gonna paint the face yet I wait on the face because that's gonna go on the project the angel I'll wait on but these here we're gonna paint them and see what they looks like so I got my paint and I'm gonna grab my paintbrush just a second I need a tidy paintbrush oh, and don't let's see if we're gonna find one tiny one I think I have one. Yep. And I have myself some a recycle piece of plastic. Try to cover up so I don't get too much mess on my table. I did came down this morning. Uh, my husband made me a cup of tea. I came down. I clean. I every morning I come down. I cleaned up my um cleaned up a little bit. And um, every week. And my daughter helped me vacuum and straightened out. So, yeah, so it's not that crowded. I got my bold um, paint. And um, I am going to paint. Um, we're going to paint these two. If we're going to put them on a project, what color shall we use? A pink? Maybe a pink? Or... Um, Let's use uh, maybe a copper, a little bit of copper. Let's try the copper. I could always make more embellishment from the 
you know. So we're going to paint this here and see how it comes out, if it comes out really beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. That copper is really beautiful. Oh my god, that is beautiful. I am going to put two coats on it. Once this dry, I will put another coat to it. I don't know if, if I want to go for therapy because it's so much snow out there. My husband been out there all morning shoveling snow. So I don't know if I, I have I have to. So I have to go for therapy today. And um, okay, we got that with the copper. We'll do a second one with the copper, or we should change up the color. Let's do a, um. And later on, if you want to change the color, you can go ahead and change the color. I'm just showing you guys a little bit of example. I'm going to use some of the blue. The iridescent, the pearl blue. On here, wow. They are beautiful color. And I don't mind. I clean my brush, so... Later on, if I don't like the color I have on here, I'll just come back and paint it a different color. That's all. Maybe put white, maybe change it to a blue, maybe change it to, you know, or add some sparkle to it. I could add some sparkle to it and use them. But I like the blue too because there's a lot of I'm gonna do a lot of project so and then um I gotta I want to make um I have to make some Easter card to send out so I have to start I have to get into making those so we have the blue we're gonna add some glitter to those if you got, can you guys see, see right? We got the copper, we got the blue. So I'm going to clean my brush right here. So this is my working. Um, let me grab a wipe so I can clean my brush if I use a different color. So there we go. My brush is clean. Wow. And it come out to. It just came apart and the first time I used it it came apart okay we're gonna pick a different color for this this one here looks like it could be a um mm, maybe a purple flower maybe um I don't know let's do a pink a pink so we'll do pink we are going to paint this one pink. We are going to paint this pink. And my husband just came down. He probably want to say something. What do you need? He's going to be on the outside. No, what do you need? Oh, that's good. We got to, I watched Selena's room uh -huh. last night when I went in there. Uh -huh. It was 78 degrees. All right. I don't know why it's so hot. Probably because it was cold and then it went, the temperature went up. Huh? My husband came back to say my daughter's room was the... He, everybody has their own... Um, the temperature, thermos, whatever you call that thing. And everyone has it in their room. Every room has their own. So you could set it to um, whatever temperature you want. Want it? So he came down to tell me her room was seventy, um, seventy-seven something. Maybe her room was cold, so she just raised it up. Who knows? 
I don't really. Okay, we're gonna paint this one. Um, let's see. What would this? What 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 would you call this? This pattern. I have no idea what this is. And I should have asked my husband. He was down here. So we're gonna paint this baby. Um. Let's see. I don't know how much red I have. But I am going to... No. I'm going to paint it gold. Sorry, guys. I cannot make my mind up. But I'm going to paint them gold. So. Yep. I am going to paint it gold. So we're going to paint... Oh, the gold is beautiful. And this is the uh, Martha Stewart. These are all four of them that I just used. They're all Mart Mart Martha Stewart. I can't even talk this morning. I am having a hard time sleeping with pain. And um, it is so hard for me to sleep. I can't sleep. I get less than less than two hour less than two hour sleep because my body hurts so much and um, it is hard when you don't get any sleep but I still will get up I try to stay in bed but I can so I get up and um, I sit and watch some watch my watch some video on YouTube and um, whatever I gotta help my husband with upstairs I help him and um, take my cup of tea and head downstairs in my craft room so yeah it's hard for me to go to sleep so this is what we got right now the angel I don't want to paint them yet because I'm not the angel the face because I might have to do you know different um unlike the the face I have to maybe do something different with it but the angel maybe um you know white or maybe you know whatever color I want to put on my project but you don't have to paint them like I do whenever you're ready for putting it on your project then you paint your um, embellishment and then it's ready to go on your project and look at that it's already dry and I'm gonna put another coat to it because I have the paint right here so we'll do the um, we'll do the copper so I could get a second coat on there and show you guys how beautiful embellishment you can make out of glue stick This is beautiful, really beautiful. I love it. And um, I use my um, my silicone um, whatever oh, my silicone um, mold. That's the word I'm looking for. But um, if you guys don't want to use your silicone mold, uh, I don't know. I don't have no idea um, what kind of mold can you use because um, I use mine for making my embellishment. So yes, you could take a chance and use your silicone mold. It won't do nothing to it. It would not burn it. It would not do anything to it the hot glue would not do anything to this it's perfectly in the shape that it came into came or the shape there's no it didn't ruin my um the hot glue did not ruin my um silicone mold so and um yeah i loved love my um embellishment and um 
what else can I say? I am keep saying and I uh, and um and um. It's so hard. My brain doesn't function. My brain doesn't want to say anything. Oh, those are beautiful. Look at that. Those are really beautiful. I'm just gonna put this paint on my um. I'm just gonna paint them in my fabric here. I don't wanna if it dries then no use. I don't have no use for it there no, do I? It's gonna dry on my fabric. So I am thinking of do some painting on fabric. And I'm not sure how I how I am going to do that. So I am so tired. My my brain is so tired. Oh, and, um, yes. So guys, um, before I forgot, and um, I just want to let you guys know, you could use your um, silicone mold for making your embellishment with hot glue. You need a mold. You need a hot glue, you need a glue gun, and you need some glue stick. And you can make beautiful, beautiful embellishment out of glue. And you got beautiful embellishment for your project. If you guys like this video, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you guys, thank you guys so much for watching my video. And thank you guys so much for supporting me. Bye-bye.